Okay. So, yeah. Here we go. I need the key. I forgot to pick up the key. He's gonna have the key. Alright. It's finished. It's good to see you in one piece. Now let's get out of here. Okay, uh, now we get the heck out of here. Alright, so yep, we need to go here. Peace, my friend. Indeed. We have been praying for your safe return, Warden. What happened now? We will need to work together, and quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind controlled me. He may even believe it. Can he... position in the lands meet is not strong. But this does little to help us. At least that snake how is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. My father is committed to his path. You will need ammunition for the lands meet, and there I can help. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worse in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset. Which means that Hal and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Nora, but you could have sent this information to your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Hal's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hope we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. It sounds more like you need us. And what of Alistair? I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough. And decent. But even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. 
It will look like you are trying to put grey water in the throne. Despite your claims, I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan, I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Logan first brought her to Denneran. Old Halen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she battered her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble. But we should keep her close, all the same. Why do you think she's trouble? This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Logan. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Logan. But are we planning to dispose her? I think she would make a better move than Alistair. Honora was a capable administrator for Canaan's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Elysians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. But Alistair's mother was a maid. How is she? How is he better? Um, thanks. I'm right here, you know. His mother was a maid, but his father was Mary Therry, for whom we all risked our lives to win back the throne. I only wish Merrick had taken more time to instruct the lad in the politics of ruling. I did my best, but we all hoped Caelan and Honora would secure the succession. Arista doesn't know the first thing about being a king. No, I don't, which I've told both of you on many occasions. If Honora's turned against Loghain, I say let her keep the crown. It looks better on her anyway. You're both wrong. With a few months of experience, Alistair will make a fine king. He knows how to lead troops to defend his land. He knows how to stand and fight for justice. He knows how to show compassion to those less fortunate. And how to trust to the Maker's guidance to know right from wrong. And he knows who to turn to for aid, should that training fail him. He will be fine. Maybe Alistair should marry her. Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument for Lansley to remove Logan from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen unless they both agreed to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. Why is it so important to put America's America son on the front? Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turnians. Let's talk about something else. We certainly have a great deal to plan. What do you think he's doing in the light? Maker knows what that man is capable of now. I got to work today. Of course. If I might make a suggestion, go speak with her. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy. And the sooner we know which she is, the better. strong one of days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. 
My father must be stopped. But once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. Are you proposing an alliance? That is exactly what I'm proposing. When the time comes, you support my fit in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. I think I would more than your support. Once I am queen, I will be in a position to grant you whatever you wish. And I shall. This is in addition to High Ever being properly restored to you. But that should go without saying, I trust. Alistair might promise you the same, I suppose. But I would ask which is better. The gratitude of a weak king, or of a strong queen. And even if it is not for you, think of what I could do for the Grey Wardens. Think of what I could do for your companions. I trust I have made my point. What if he had a strong hand up besides you? Tempting. You are of Kuzland blood, it's true. Despite the fact that you are also a Grey Warden, it would be unprecedented, but a man like you could make a fine prince and consort. Is this what you are actually proposing? My hand for your support? Uh, I would rather be a king, no. I was thinking more of Alistair. Ignoring that the man looks so much like Caelan, my recently dead husband, if you recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Caelan as well. But it is true that Alistair has their own blood. To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? What well, I don't want, want is not important. And by extension, neither is what I want. Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. I'll speak with him then. Do so. I will be interested to hear what he has to say. Alright, now I need to go and speak to Alistair. Uh, so, yeah. Back to the king at Amazon. Alistair. So, I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. I think you'll be a great king, Alistair. Really? Whatever will give you that idea? You have a kind heart and a strong sense of justice. Well, it's nice that you think so. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just to let it happen? I think you should marry. Marry her? As in marriage? As in be her husband? You've spoken to her about it? You did, didn't you? Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? That's crazy. I think it's the best compassion for peace. Is it? I don't think so. I don't trust the Nora any more than her father. And I'm certainly not going to marry her. Go and tell her whatever you think best, but I can't do it. Even if it means I have to be king myself. I'm sorry. Alright, so Alistair did not like that. Well, have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? Or will we be reduced to passing notes? He sent his regret. Oh, that's a shame. But hardly unexpected, really. Consider it forgotten. Now, as for the alliance we were discussing. What happens to you again if you are queen? He is my father, as well as a great general, who has served his nation well until now. If there is a way for him to live, I would prefer it. There isn't, without a question. Justice must be Done, don't you think? I will always be my father's daughter, but even I know he must pay for his crime. It will not make me glad, even so. Does that affect your decision? Can we yet come to an arrangement? Make your case. Why should I support you? 
For years, I have ruled this kingdom as Caelan's queen. As much as they loved Caelan, all of the Bannon knew this to be so. Caelan was a good man, but what is needed now is not another good man, but a good ruler. I sent Alina here not solely because I thought I needed help, but because I saw an opportunity for us both. What say you then? Your support for mine in the landscape? I agree. You have my support. That is good to hear. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? No, I should go. Do you need anything? I... No. And while I know your concern is hardly disinterested, still... Thank you. Warden, let me know if there's any assistance I can give you. We have much to do, and little time. We need... What am I supposed to do now? I don't know how to continue this. You return. Is there something you wish to discuss? I still do not. Right, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I kind of forgot what's the next step. So I'm gonna go and look on YouTube, and I'll be right back with you guys. So yeah, um, bye. I guess.